So this is kind of a close-up of the head I just did, or the piece I just did, but this will be mostly just focusing in on, on, on the head. Now, it's about to go right into the eye. Is that a smart thing to do? No. Let's go over into the shoulder, because we're using a different pen, and we just don't want to start somewhere where it's really delicate, I don't think. Okay, now remember, the cool thing with this particular pen is that we can lay in thick to thin line weight very easily, which is something we weren't able to do with any of the other ones we were using. So I got this tuft of hair running off the front of the ears. And the ear kind of does an S-curve around and is darkest down in this cavity. And then the fur kind of comes off of the tip there. I have two of these little pens. This one's a little finer. I might be using the two of them. And just look at the power and difference of the blacks between the ballpoint pens and the brush pens and how much more just black and solid you can get with the actual brush pen. Now this is again like going to lend itself more to like, you know, I remember I did a job for um, Universal and I was working on, um, I was a freelancing for them and I was doing Fast and the Furious video game concepting and I was doing, oh, I don't know how many I did like, they wanted old school inks of their characters and you would have never thought, but they had, and I had a brush pen, thank God it saved my bacon because I mean I did like 300 inks for them or something. And um, if I had to sit and dip it every time, I would have just been in agony. But the brush pen saved my butt. It really did. It was one of the best tools I could use for that particular um, job. And it really just was a godsend. So you never know when you're going to get called upon to do this stuff. And because I was old school and I, and, and, you know, I mean, they came to me and they said, can you do this and that? At the same time, I did like, you know, I don't know, I did a Van Helsing job for him where I was working on that video game. And wasn't a great game, I don't think, but I um I did so many original gouache paintings for them, like fifty or something, and it was awesome. Werewolves, fighting knights, I mean it was really a cool job. And um again, those were cool too, old school. They wanted that old style, they wanted to be able to give original paintings to their higher ups, execs, and uh, they wanted me to paint them and then they were gonna use them, scan them, manipulate them a little bit with Photoshop or whatever, and then give them to their as gifts. So it was kind of an interesting job. But I mean, I've had some really neat opportunities to use all kinds of different skill sets. So if you can do digital and you can also do traditional and you can also do this and that, it's just going to open up more windows of opportunity for you where you can really um, explore uh, different aspects of, you know, of, uh, of your craft, you know, and more opportunity to make money, more opportunity to, you know, have fun, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're kind of down under the mouth. I think I have a little beak on them. And there's some deeper information in there, so I don't know if I want to just flat black that that whole area. But I wouldn't mind just kind of finding the core shadow and how it links up here. So just kind of watch again how I, how I play around with this stuff. I don't even so gradation on that horn, you can see how fine I was able to get those lines, but that I, I could not pull those. Now I'm going against it, really fine, really fine. You catching that, E? So if you look in there, look at how careful and you know. But if I was trying to go like this and 
pull it like that or pull it like that. It would have been almost impossible. Had to get it like this so that my hand could be in a position to pull with just a feather light weight. And now again, if I want to go down this one, I'm thinking down this horn, I want it to go the opposite, like dark, starting at the top. I'm going to roll it. And then when you turn that over and look at it, I mean, look at how that nice gradation, very subtle, extremely difficult strokes to pull. I mean, you have to have a really light hand. And again, that's just good dexterity. That's practice. That's us. We're going to get into a lot of that kind of stuff here in the next, uh, you know, future phase of this, you know, the phase two, but also in just practicing how to do that when we do our technical exercises in the quill and in the brush, which will give you again. So you can see it's difficult. I'm going to show you how to get that stuff and you're going to practice it a lot so that when we get to pulling those in an actual real life situation, uh, you're going to be a lot more adept at it and able to handle it without completely freaking out. Okay. So don't worry. We'll get you there. Got your back. It's all good. But it has a nice calligraphic look to it. It's one of the things I love about brush. It, 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 it has a, a more sensitive look than sometimes the other, some of the other sketch styles. And again, so there's a time and a place for that. And sometimes I like this kind of gritty, kind of chunky, gnarly look. Other times I liked it to be really finessed, really, um, yeah, just really nice and, and finessed. And it really just depends on my mood. Sometimes it depends on the subject matter. Sometimes it depends on a lot of different things, but, but, um, but, more times than not, it's just, you know, it's, it's a matter of having the skill sets to do whatever and anything so that you can choose what would be the best method, the best approach for that particular situation at that particular time. And if you're very limited with your range, then you don't really have a lot of options. You're just like, well, I can only do that. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Whereas you say, well, but, but I can do this, 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 and this, and this. And I think the best thing for this would be this, you know, so you kind of, you can pick from multiple styles, methods, tools, it's never going to be passe to know too much. You can always forget it. You can always leave it out. You can't put it in if you don't know it. So what I always say is people say, would you rather know more than le or less? I mean, dude, of course you'd want to know more because you can always leave it out. You can always opt out. But if you don't know it, you don't have any option. You're just stuck doing whatever you can do, you know. And that's, okay. you know, I mean, for some people that's okay. For me, it's not, you know. Um, okay. So there's that head.